eager viewers. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Leviathan Coruscant Fun, but you could call me Leviathan. To start out, I'll tell you about my personal detail. I am mildly autistic, I uh, have a photographic memory, and I'm obsessed with the realm of fiction. Which is what basically what this video and others to come is all about. The air on this video, they have all you need to know about not only me, but about also about the realm of fiction. And uh, and in most other general cases, to also be about the monster culture. What is that, you ask? The monster culture is simply the study of the most powerful and longest living species of the entire universe or all that exists. Monsters. And when I say monsters, I don't mean Cookie Monster or Sully and Mike Monsters. I mean literal monsters, like Dracula, Herman Munster, Godzilla, and others to come. Uh... And how it all came to this? It started back in a town of Zilla. At the local library, I discovered an awesome and original book, which is simply called A Field Guide to Monsters. This book could save your life. And I enjoyed it so much that the librarians were begging me to not check it out again, so I got my own copy. Right here. Oh, wait. I think there's a problem. I need my book. So, start over. Just delete that. What? Just delete it. Just start over this time. Okay, there you go. You deleted it? <laughs> Just start up where you left off, big man. Ready, oh. go. Well, this right here. Right here? You see that? Well, anyway, that was just the beginning for my love for monsters. And my love for monsters has been eternally morphed into a new form for eternity and so forth since the movie I saw the franchise Monsters vs. Aliens. And the moment I watched it, I was... That is basically where my greatest influence came from. From the founder and leader of Team Monster, Susan Murphy, or, in most cases, Ginormica. Yeah. Well, I got to admit, not only does she have the perfect beauty, she also has the perfect soul. And since then, I've been having referencing and mentioning of her every two to five minutes. I consider her the almighty goddess, or the savior of all that exists. But she's not the only one. There's others. There's other members of the top five goddesses, including Roxanne Ritchie from Megamind, Rapunzel from Tangled, Merida from Brave, and Sergeant Calhoun from Rick and Ralph. Each of them with their own status, personality, and personal achievements. Oh. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. If I am, but luckily this is just part one of an introduction that I believe you'll be willing to see more, and I really hope. That this video would be more viral than Cy Robertson's golfing video, if you know who I mean. For the rest of this introduction, I'll be making a part two of this introduction, which will be coming soon. Hope you're willing to observe some more lectures, and as Megmind would say, chanchio and keep up with the enthusiasm.